Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I apologize about the title, I know. So there's been a lot of talk about kink lately and I figured, why don't I join in? Kinks are cool, kinks are great. Everybody has them, I think. But you wanna know what's not great? Is coming across them on TikTok as a POV. You know, you're just scrolling away on TikTok and everybody's For You page is different. You could have frogs, gay people, and photography on your For You page. But then sometimes that one unrelatable TikTok comes onto your page. And in my case, it happened to be a kink POV TikTok. And I don't know why it came up on my page. I, I seriously don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. It just happens sometimes, okay? Before we do get into this video, I will give you a formal warning. If you couldn't tell by the title that you probably shouldn't be watching this out loud, okay? Not the words that I'm going to say, it's the words the other people are going to say. If you don't want to embarrass yourself, maybe save it for later. <laughs> the following is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. What? There's people still here. Stop. I said stop. If you're serious, meet me in the bathroom in five, okay? But just... got a few minutes, okay? Fuck, what's wrong with us? We really shouldn't. Okay, I will be fair here. He did give me a warning, but I continued to watch anyways because I knew it was going to be something bad. Now, that wasn't the worst of them at all. That was probably his least worst video. Following is intended for mature audiences only. Your discretion is advised. All right, yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck have I told you about bringing people over here, huh? I don't give a fuck if we know him. Get your ass up here. Come on. Come on, you stupid fucking bitch. And don't make a goddamn sound. You can starve for all I care. Okay. Wait. Why is there only half a door? <laughs> the way he has to back up out of the room, but in an aggressive, dominant manner. I just really wonder how many times he actually had to film that so it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> and something else I noticed when he's dragging us, did he add stomping sound effects? It sounds off key, but also like he's wearing baby shoes. Is it added in effects or is he just wearing baby shoes? Or like high heels? Hey, all the power to you. Like I said, men in dress is good. And also, is like getting cooped up in a little tiny room with half a door a kink? Genuine question. I don't, I feel like it would be really hot and gross and there would be bugs and there's no food or water. I don't know. It doesn't really sound like it's too much fun. All right, so this next one is POV taking you home after our first date. <laughs> I have multiple problems with this TikTok. What are you, one of Elon Musk's little minions? You drive your little electric toy car, and I'm just joking. Well, I'll have you know that I drive a Mazda, and I put gas in it, and I ruin the planet with everybody else. So, second of all, they're playing Let It Go on the USB, and I don't think there's anything kinky about that. Is that not a Disney song? If she's got a degrading kink, try this on her. Shut the fuck up. On your knees. Now! <laughs> I'm really loving the crotch shot here. We could have done without it, but it might have played part of the whole TikTok. So I'll give it a pass, fine. But he's in the car. Well, what if I did this in the McDonald's drive-thru? And she was like, can you get me the BTS meal? And I was like, shut the fuck up and get on your knees. And she'd be like, we're in the car. I can't, do you want me to get on the pavement? Somebody said the finger, and it has 37,000 likes, and I didn't notice the finger, so let's get a replay of that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Bestie, this is scaring me. Something about the word bestie makes everything 10 times funnier. What the actual fuck? <laughs> I will never be able to take back those 15 seconds of my life. Mm -hmm. And you guys won't be able to either, so you're welcome. Keep it on Discord, buddy. Wait, is this the type of stuff that goes on on Discords? Hey boss, got another special order. Oh really? Thank you. No. I'm sorry boss, but that one's gotta happen. It's the last one in the queue. We can absolutely stop taking orders for them after this though. I said the last one was the last one. Why should I do this last one? Look boss, I know you don't want to, but let me hit you with a few reasons on why we should, okay? Do you want a 4 job up plug? All I need from you is cash. 
I'll keep the package real discreet. The neighbors never need to know what's up your ass. My jaw dropped originally when I saw that. And also it's metal. Now, I don't know if that's going to become like a soft silicone thing. I just thought that would fit perfectly here in this video. And I needed to share it because it was huge. And I just need to know which one of you did this to this poor man. The following is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm just gonna start saying this in the intro of every one of my videos. For this next one, we're gonna do a live duet here, okay? Are you ready yet or what? Yeah, man. What the fuck are you wearing? What? No, I said the red one, not it, the blue. It is red. Look at me, you think that's gonna... It, I'm wearing red. Why must you always disobey me, huh? Huh? Goddamn bruh. Well, go put on what I told you to put on. Now. The comment said, I'm not sure if I want to watch this. I'll update you guys when I'm done watching it. We never got an update. God damn, brah. Is that what he said? Hold on. God damn, brah. He did. He did say god damn, brah. How would you mother feel about this? That's what I've been asking myself the whole time. Hey, if you enjoy eating spicy food, you're kind of into BDSM because the chemical in chili peppers that makes them spicy is called capsaicin, which stimulates your pain receptors, which means there is a non-zero chance that the first person to try and enjoy having their pain receptors stimulated this way was also no stranger to the phrase, punish me harder, daddy, goodbye. Now this has plagued my mind because now whenever I go out to eat with somebody and they say they love spicy foods, this is all I'm going to think about. And now it's all you're going to think about. So you're very welcome for that. And I actually wonder if that's true. I'll have to go Google it in my spare time. The following is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Why aren't you eating? What the fuck did I tell you when we left, huh? I fucking told you. Fucking eat. <sighs> now it's one thing to put your friends through that, but it's a different story to put your family through that. I really hope mom and dad weren't there. I'm just hoping. Just for your sake. I had to voice this over because of copyright. So this person's at the thrift store and they come across this big thing. What could it possibly be? Oh, that's right. A crucifixion prop. A crucifixion prop. Mm-hmm. Yup. That's what it looks like to me. Imagine you walk into church and you see this big bad boy and you're like, wait, wait, this is a crucifixion prop? Look, Pastor Dan, I know what you think that is, but it's not. That is one of the most unholiest things you could have in this church. And I'm telling you right now, it is not a crucifixion prop, I promise. Let me take this off of your hands for you. I'll, I'll handle it. That's also expensive, $195 to buy these pieces of wood with restraints on them that somebody else's ass has sweat all over. And you're going to pay almost 200 bucks for that. I mean, you could easily go to Home Depot and make the same thing for like one third of the price without the ass sweat and whatever other liquids have gotten onto there. Sorry, that's still a little too far. Let's just go to Home Depot. Do you ever stretch and just make the loudest sexual noise ever? My stepsister did that the other day and I was like, whoa, you better slow down there or, uh, or, you know, all right, everybody, we're almost out of the woods here. We've got the last TikTok that I'm going to play for you. All right, this is POV. I don't like what you're wearing to me, my parents. The following is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Marley, are you fucking ready to go? Are you shitting me? That's what you're wearing? No, you're not fucking wearing that. Put these on. I said put them on! <laughs> I said you're going to fucking meet my parents dressed like a fucking trollop. I feel like at this point, it's just him yelling at her to do things. Like he's lost the kink aspect of it. Now he's just mad. <laughs> what is a trollop? To me, it sounds like a very underwhelming insult. And apparently it means a woman who has many casual sex encounters or relationships or a prostitute. Why don't you just say all the other options that you have available? Trollop is like, where in 1920? I don't know, that's kind of just what it feels like. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to leave you with here today. I hope you enjoyed having to go through all of that just as much as I did. You're welcome, by the way. Now, like I said, kinks are cool, kinks are great, but when they're on TikTok as POVs, I... I can't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If there are any different sides of TikTok you would like me to explore, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will see you all next week with a new video.